Welcome to the new episode of How to Electronics. In this episode, we'll learn how to make IoT based ECG monitoring system using AD8232 ECG sensor and Node MCU ESP8266 dual E board. We'll simply interface AD8232 ECG sensor with Node MCU board and connect it to the internet. We'll connect this lead to the patient body and we'll monitor the ECG. Similarly, we'll use an IoT platform called UbDuts where we'll use the MQTT protocol to send the data over the cloud. And then we'll simply monitor the ECG of a person online using the AD8232 ECG sensor. So in the, the UbDuts dashboard, we can simply monitor the ECG of a person online from any part of the world. So let's get started. But before that, I like to tell you the official sponsor of this video is Next PCB. Next PCB is one of the biggest PCB manufacturer company in China. They offer high quality PCB at very reasonable price. You can get two layer, four layer, and multi layer PCB. Currently, due to the COVID 19, they are giving the biggest giveaway offer. So you can get a infrared thermometer worth around $50 if you order a PCB of $500. So at any order, you will get a 10% instant discount. So if you are ordering an PCB assembly unit, you will get a discount of $30 immediately. Now let's begin with the circuit diagram first. So AD8230 has 6 pin, out of them STN is not used. Connect the output pin to analog pin A0 of node MCU. Connect the LO plus and LO minus to D5 and D6. Similarly, connect 3B3 to 3B3 and ground to ground. So here is a connection how the ECG leads are placed on a patient body. So we have RA, LA and RL that is right arm, left arm and right leg. So you can place it on chest as well. So here is how you have assembled the AD8232 and Node MCU on a breadboard. The connection is exactly same as shown in the figure earlier that is on the circuit diagram. We have three electrodes that is ECG leads. All these ECG leads need to be placed in a triangular shape either in the chest or in the arm or in the leg. So here is one of my friend where I'm just demonstrating how we can put the ECG electrodes. So the red one is on the left chest, yellow in the right and the green at the tom button near the kidney section. So it's a complete triangular shape. So now let's begin with the simple program first. So under the void setup function, we have initialized the serial begin as 9600. So we are detecting LO plus and LO minus as GPIO 14 and GPIO 12. So we are just comparing the digital output from the two electrodes that is LO plus and LO minus. Under the else condition, we are just reading the analog value that is generated from a not pin. Upload the code, go to the serial plotter. So you can see a beautiful ECG signal is generated. That is PQRX diagram. To know more about the diagram, you can visit my previous video. I have given the link of my previous video in the description where you can understand more about this diagram. So this is how we can measure the simple ECG. Now what I want is I want to upload this ECG signal to any IoT cloud platform where I can monitor the ECG signal online from any part of the world. For that I choose UbDarts. UbDarts is one of the biggest and great platform for IoT projects. So just visit ubdots.com, simply create an account or simply log in if you have an account earlier. I created the account today, so I am getting a trial of 30 days. So you can purchase the license from them as well. Now let's see the code. So we have ESP8266 Wi-Fi dot as for Wi-Fi communication and we have PubSub client dot as. You can get this library from the link in the description. I have added the link and you need to change the Wi-Fi SSID and uh, you also need to change the password as well under the token you need to get it from the ub dots so how we get this just visit to the api credential just click here you can see the tokens copy the token 
get back to the code and paste it over here under the mqtt client name you can write any name whatever you like there is a variable label and device label these two are the only important parameters that will be displayed using the mqtt connection rest of the code are similar as earlier you can just go through the code and understand that the mqtt protocol is used for sending the data over internet we have also used a pub sub client for that okay so that's all from the code section if you are facing a problem in understanding code you can comment in the video section below so once the code is uploaded you can open the serial monitor and check the baud rate to 115200 so it will start connecting to wi-fi and it will print the it address and it will immediately establish mqtt connection and it will be publishing the data to the ubdarts cloud so go to the ubdarts click on devices now after clicking here nothing is displayed so what you do is just insert your usb cable to the computer port so once you insert it just refresh this so you will get the device name as esp8266 now remember this device has come automatically from the code that you uploaded and this variable called my ecg is also generated from the code so just click here so you can see the entry of the last data and the current data with the wave from above below you can just change the color of the graph whatever you want now go to the data click on dashboard uh, i will just want to delete this chart because i don't need this one so click the plus sign here click on line chart and just name it something like that my ecg sensor like my ecg graph add the variable so under the add variable you will get the device name as esp8266 and my ecg so this has come automatically just click on the green tick so once you click on here you will get the ecg graph that was seen on the dashboard so with time the ecg signal from your body is uploaded here so uploading will be done immediately the graph won't be smooth as you saw earlier in the previous code this is because qb dots require a fraction amount of time to upload the code so this is all about the today's video hope if you like this video if you like this video please drop a like and please subscribe my channel share this video with your friends thank you for watching